I want to assure you that you are not the only parent experiencing this. As a matter of fact, I have not spoken to a single parent that is not concerned about the direction that the Waterloo District School Board is heading in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David and we are living in unprecedented times. Right now in our school system, the woke culture has completely taken over. I'm sure you have seen on the news the teacher with the large prosthetic breasts teaching students. This kind of behavior is unacceptable and should not be tolerated. Furthermore, the school and the trustees have defended the teacher and have labeled the teacher as the victim, not the students who were subjected to this kind of behavior. Right here in our Waterloo District School Board, we are having some major issues. Parents are extremely concerned with the direction that Waterloo District School Board has taken in the last couple of years. Earlier this year, an ESL teacher, Carolyn, has been invited to give a presentation in front of the Waterloo District School Board trustees to raise awareness about the sexually explicit books that are currently in our libraries. These books are also in elementary schools where students between kindergarten and grade six attend. During this presentation, Carolyn has brought up very concerning books that push gender ideology onto kids. These books not only show sexually explicit illustrations, but they also push the kids towards a normalization of puberty blockers and gender affirmation. Yes, your kids can also go to school and change genders, and this will be kept a secret from you. During this meeting, the chair has promptly shut it down and kicked Carolyn out. The meeting video has been removed. However, unfortunately for them, it has also been leaked and very many people saw the meeting. I can tell you as a parent, when I saw it, I was completely shocked. Every time I watch it, I'm still in disbelief, even though I know what I'm about to hear. This kind of behavior by the Waterloo District School Board trustees is unacceptable. I know what you're thinking. As a parent, you want your kids to go to school and you want them to learn math, English, and science. However, the Waterloo District School Board has prioritized gender identity, sexuality, and racism. This gender identity ideology is pushing kids towards hating themselves. Right now in our education system, kids are encouraged to explore their sexuality. Yes, puberty blockers are being normalized. And yes, medicine that will transition is also being normalized. This will lead kids to a lifelong dependence on drugs. And not only that, but they are pushing kids towards self-hate and self-mutilation with permanent results. Now I know what you're thinking. We all went through our emo days and those days don't last long. We all come out of it. But the kind of damage that our kids are being pushed towards will have long lasting, lifelong repercussions. Yes, I know it's hard to believe that men cannot give birth and women are simply not just menstruators. There are biological differences between men and women and this hormone therapy that is pushed onto kids is completely destructive and has physical and psychological ramifications that can last a lifetime but it is a very profitable business. At the end of last year, the Waterloo District School Board has also introduced the drag queens so they can empower and educate our children. Yes, this is on their social media and they are very proud of it. Not only are we dealing with sexuality and gender, but we are also dealing with racism in the schools. Right now in our schools, kids are taught critical race theory, but it's formally known as anti-racism information. The idea behind this ideology is rooted in Marxism and separates students into two classes, the oppressed and the oppressee. And as you've guessed, the white students are oppressing everybody else that's another shade of color. I kid you not, the leading book of this says that the antidote to discrimination is more discrimination, but from the opposite side. Yes, we are truly living in unprecedented times in which race, gender, and sexuality are things that people are being discriminated on right now in Ontario. I want to assure you that you are not the only parent experiencing this. As a matter of fact, I have not spoken to a single parent that is not concerned about the direction 
that the Waterloo District School Board is heading in. On October 24th, we have the opportunity to get out and vote new trustees for the school board. If you are in the Waterloo District School Board, please visit the website knowyourwrdsbtrustees.ca. And if you are in Ontario, there is also a general website called voteagainstwoke.ca. Both of these websites will show you candidates that you can vote for that will stand up for your rights and go against the woke culture. There's information on this website on who can vote, where to vote, and how to vote. Please spread the message and get everybody that can vote out to vote. If you do not have kids in school, please come out and vote regardless. I'm sure somebody in your family does have kids in school. We need to protect our children and we need to fight for their rights. I'm looking forward to better days. Thank you very much.